Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum dear students. This is our next video. In this video, we are going to solve two problems of classical mechanics. Both problems have been chosen from the book Classical Dynamics of Systems and Particles of Particles and Systems. Okay. Classical mechanics or classical dynamics or analytical dynamics, same thing, similar thing, no difference, okay? Classical dynamics of particles and systems, okay? As usual, we first come to statement of the first problem, okay? For what values of A? are the vectors a equal to 2a i minus 2j plus a k and vector b equal to a i plus 2a j plus 2k perpendicular. Dear yes, students, condition for perpendicularity is that their dot product must be zero. Okay. So quite simple, this problem is of the nature that we are dealing with uh, since our school level physics, okay. We will take dot product of these two vectors. We know that uh, two vectors are perpendicular if and only if their dot product is uh, zero, okay. So we will put dot product equal to zero, then we what uh, value of A will come uh, will be the answer of this solution okay uh, answer of this problem okay solution now a dot b is equal to 2 a i minus 2 j plus a k dot a i plus 2 a j plus 2 k okay this becomes uh, equal to 2 a dot a minus 4 a plus 2 a this alternatively becomes equal to 2 a square minus 2 a here from here we can put we can take 2 a as common okay when 2a is taken as common, then within the bracket, uh, what is left is left a minus 1. Now put a dot b equal to 0. This implies that 2a into a minus 1 equal to 0. Okay, because we know that vectors are perpendicular if their dot product is 0. Okay, so we have found a dot a dot b dot product of a and b and then we have put it equal to 0. By putting it equal to 0, this implies that either a is equal to 0 or a is equal to 1. Okay, so value of a must be either 0 or 1. Okay, now we move to second problem. This is the second problem. Okay, for what? Oh, sorry. For the two vectors, for the two vectors, a equal to i plus 2j minus k, b equal to minus 2i plus 3j plus k, find part a, a minus b and then magnitude of a minus b, okay, then component of b on a, component of b on a, angle between a and b, okay, angle between a and b, then uh, part D is cross product of A and B. Then E part is A minus B and A plus B. Cross product of A minus B vector and then A plus B vector. Okay. Quite simple. Now we are going to its solution in a form. Oh yes. But before uh, proceeding uh, to its solution in a proper manner, we have to go through, first we have to go through a snapshot, okay. This snapshot is about component of A on B, okay. We do not uh, discuss all this snapshot, we just uh, uh, point out its conclusion. Its, conclu its conclusion is that component of B on A is equal to A dot B over magnitude of B, okay. Vector which is in as a subscript is taken in the denominator and 
we have taken its magnitude okay while in the numerator the dot product is taken okay a dot b over b magnitude then dear students uh, in the next snapshot uh, in order to find the angle cos theta of uh, different values a table has been shown okay almost every book of uh, general physics usually contains such uh, tables okay this table has been taken from the book of uh, डगलस सी ज्ञान कोहली ओके डगलस सी ज्ञान कोहली इन दी अपेंडिक्स ऑफ बुक फिजिक्स डगलस सी ज्ञान कोहली दिस टेबल इज शोन ओके दिस इज स्टार्टिंग मॉड ऑफ दिस टेबल एंड देन नेक्स्ट टू दिस वी हैव टेकन सम पोर्शन ऑफ दैट टेबल व्हिच विल हेल्प अस इन सॉल्विंग दिस प्रॉब्लम ओके हियर डियर स्टूडेंट्स okay 71 degree to 75 degrees and then these are the cos okay now we come to part a part a vector a is equal to i plus 2j minus k b vector is equal to minus 2i plus 3j plus k this implies that a minus b this <laughs> This implies that a minus b will be equal to i plus 2j minus k minus minus 2i plus 3j plus k. After simplification, a minus b becomes equal to 3i minus j minus 2k. Now, next uh, part of this ne next sub part of this part is magnitude of a minus b. Okay, so a minus b magnitude will be equal to Square of this plus square of one plus square of two and whole under root. So its answer a minus b magnitude becomes equal to fourteen under root. Okay. Now we come to our part A. Component of B on A. As we had shown a snapshot in which component of A on B was shown. Uh, component of B on A. B is written as subscript of comp, so magnitude of B is in the denominator while in the numerator a dot B. Okay, so dear students, a dot B is equal to minus two plus six minus one divided by B. Magnitude is equal to fourteen under root. And hence, component of B on A is three over fourteen under root. now we come towards part c okay part c part according to part for part c we know that cos theta is equal to a dot b divided by magnitude of a into magnitude of b okay so a dot b is equal to minus 2 plus 6 minus 1 divided by magnitude of a is equal to 1 plus 4 plus 1 and magnitude of b is 4 plus 9 plus 1 under root okay After simplification, these this becomes equal to cos theta becomes equal to zero point three three. Okay, when cos theta is equal to zero point three three, then this implies that theta will be equal to cos inverse zero point three three, and this becomes equal to seventy one degree. Now we go back to that table which we have included in our snapshot portion. Okay. 71 cos inverse theta equal to cos inverse 0.33 0.33 0.33 okay this is cos 0.326 this is 0.309 okay this is much less this is approximately 0.33 okay because the students next to 2 is greater than half that is greater than 5 so it should be assumed as 0.33 okay so in case of cos inverse 0.33 angle is 71 degree okay that is why uh, there we have written actually dear students we have not taken this value directly from internet uh, through online um, calculator we have used manual um, arrangement uh, okay 
so when cos theta is equal to 0.33 then theta becomes equal to cos inverse 0.33 and it becomes equal to 71 degree now we come towards the part d okay a cross b okay dear students say for a for cross product of two vectors we adopt the practice that in the first row we write a i j k and then in the second row we use the coordinates of a and then in the third row coordinates of b okay this becomes equal to uh, first we will take this i and this first row and first column will be uh, eliminated and only this central portion will remain and with it, it is written minus 1 raised to the power 1 plus 1 okay actually this is this one show the number of column and this is number of row okay because i is appearing in first row and first column so here minus 1 will become plus 1 uh, moreover this j will become minus 1 because this is in this uh, first row but second column 1 plus 2 equal to 3 and we know that odd power of minus 1 is always minus while, while even power of minus 1 is plus 1 okay Similarly, k will become plus because it is in the first row and uh, third column. Uh, 1 plus 3 equal to 4, even, even power of minus 1 will become, uh, okay. And moreover, here when we, we will take i, 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 2 into 1, 2, 2 minus minus 3, 2 minus minus 3, uh, it means 2 plus 3, that, that is 5 i. Now when it j, 1, 1, 1 minus 2, okay, 1 minus 2, uh, yes, j 1 multiplied by 1, uh, 1, 1 minus 2, one minus 2 perhaps minus 1j uh, plus k uh, j j no no sorry sorry yes when j will be taken then central line will be eliminated and this will be eliminated okay so it will become 1 minus 1 minus 2 1 okay uh, 1 minus 2 uh, similarly when k will be taken first row and third column will be eliminated and we will take uh, 1 into 3 a plus 4 1 into 3 3 3 plus 4 7 7 k okay so this is a cross b a cross b oh yes dear students actually because here j with j minus sign is coming oh yes i was I was confused whether I have made some mistake. No mistake. Okay. Actually, dear students, here minus with j minus is already present because here uh, power of minus 1 is odd, uh, not even. So, minus 1 minus 2 minus 1 and then with minus 1 um, again it will become plus okay no so no 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 confusion no mistake okay quite okay now we come towards the part a a is equal to this and b is equal to this a minus b is equal to this and a plus b is equal to this to this extent quite simple now we are taking cross product of these two okay for cross product if, uh, practice in, uh, is that in the first row ijk we write from ourselves then in the second row it will be a minus b and in the third row it will be a plus b okay same procedure as was adopted in previous in which minus 1 raised to the power number of column plus number of row due to which j becomes minus 1 while i and k become plus 1 and hence our answer becomes 10 i plus 2 j plus 14k this is the end of our video this is the end of our problem till next video allah hafiz